The annual Thanksgiving football games are here across South Jersey, and I'm Joe Martucci. Joined with me, the illustrious King of the Cow, Mike McGarry. Mike, I haven't seen you in so long. It just feels like we're reuniting and back better than ever. Yeah, back for the Thanksgiving games. You know, Joe, we only have two left, but fittingly, they're the two that mean the most and have the most tradition. Atlantic City, Holy Spirit, and Atlantic County's oldest rivalry first met in 1926. And of course, Vineland Millville, one of the oldest in the country, first met in 1893. 1893. Geez, that was like a couple of years after Rutgers started playing football at the college level. So that is a. I had to throw the Rutgers reference in, Mike. Sorry about that. Or about 30 years after the Civil War. So there you go. There we go. We got something for everybody. All right. So let's start off with the Millville-Vineland game that is at Millville, and that is at 1030 a.m. here. Mike, what are you looking out for at this game? I know you're not going to be there, but Patrick Moranin will be there. Well, we got a chance to see some history at this game. Millville junior wide receiver Lozier Brooks comes into the game 65 receiving yards away from setting the South Jersey career record, breaking the mark set by JoJo Bermudas of Cedar Creek in 2021. Lozier Brooks, one of the nation's top college prospects. He's got scholarship offers from all the big schools, Georgia, Alabama, you name it. And he got a Millville team that is coming in after losing the mainland, you know, two weeks ago in the South Jersey Group 4 final, a Millville team that's going to try to get the sting of that defeat, uh, ease the sting of that defeat by beating their big rival, Vineland. Got it. And then we'll shift it on over east uh, to Atlantic City this year. It's in Atlantic City. It's at 10 a.m. here. Uh, What are you thinking for that game? Because you will be there. Yeah, it should be a great game. Uh, Holy Spirit comes in 8-2. and two. Kind of an unexpected 8-2 and two for Holy Spirit this year. They thought they were going to have a rebuilding season. They had a great season led by sophomore quarterback Mike Costable. They went to the non-public B semifinals where they lost to Red Bank Catholic. So really a great season for Holy Spirit spirit to build on. On the other side, you have Atlantic City team uh, that, of course, features another one of the region's top players. You remember Ice Cup. We talked about I do remember that. Ice Cup. Yeah. How's our Sinai friend Ice Cup doing? Right. Sinai DeGraffin, right? A junior, just like Brooks from Millville, scholarship offers from all the big schools uh, in, in the country. He'll lead Atlantic City. Joe Lyons at quarterback. More than 2,000 passing yards this season. His final game as a senior. Ice Cup, of course, as a junior. And an Atlantic City team that's kind of got off to a fast start, Joe. I believe they were 6-1 and at one point. And then they dropped three in a row, including a playoff loss to Washington Township in the first round of South Jersey Group 5. So it's an Atlantic City team that's going to try to, you know, end the season on a good note. And they haven't beaten Holy Spirit since 2017. Wow. All right. So we got a long way to go here uh, for Atlantic City. If they can win, first win since 2017 here. Let's get into the weather forecast and then we'll turn it back over to you, Mike, for some closing thoughts. You know, this forecast, Mike, is pretty darn easy for us. I know you don't like the wind. We do have a little bit of wind throughout the games, but I think we're going to generally be okay. We look at our future cast here. Wind sustained 10 to 15 miles an hour. I don't think that's that much, Mike. I think you can handle that, right? I can handle that. That's yeah, I think correct. you can handle that. Good amount of sunshine throughout the games. You know, Thanksgiving can be so varied. I've been outside at Holy Spirit Atlantic City where it's 35 and with a couple of snowflakes in the air. Not the case for this uh, go around for Thanksgiving. It's a lot of sunshine. Clouds staying to our north and west. We'll show you the temperatures for the games. We'll start off Holy Spirit at Atlantic City. Starting off in the 40s and rising up to probably just around 50 degrees by the time the Game is over here and over at Millville Vineland. It's pretty much the same story as well. It's football weather. It feels like fall here. And Mike McGarry will be out there in the elements. You know, how's it feel going into another Thanksgiving here with the two high school football games here and especially being Atlantic City? Well, there's not that many left anymore, Joe. Like I said, these are the two that mean the most. It's really a great day to see... uh, you know, kind of alumni from schools, people that I've covered in the past, old friends to say hello to everybody. It's almost 
as much about, you know, it's a social occasion as it is the game on the field, uh, these two contests. And it's good to see sunny skies is good this time of year. Like you said, the weather can be varied. I've been freezing on Thanksgiving. I think last year we were in T-shirts. It was so warm yeah. over, at, over at Holy Spirit. So it's, it's a great day. It's about more than football. You know, some people begin their Thanksgiving with the Macy's Parade. I begin it with Atlantic City Holy Spirit. Have you even watched the Thanksgiving Macy's Parade? I haven't seen the Thanksgiving parade since probably 1991 or 1992, <laughs> but I have seen an awful lot of Atlantic City Holy Spirit since then. Well, that's good. And that's more important for us here at South Carolina exactly. anyway. All right, Mike, tell us where we can follow you. Yeah, uh, you can follow me at AC Press McGarry on X or Twitter or whatever they call it these days. And we'll have stories on the games with videos up you know, uh, moments after they're finished on Thursday at pressofac.com. And, you know, Mike does a really good job with these post-game recap videos, this narration, it's highlights. You get the whole nine yards, no pun intended. No double pun intended, really, on that one. Uh, but it's a really good uh, find. So you can check that out after the game as well. He'll do a recap for Holy Spirit in Atlantic City. For Mike McGarry, I'm Joe Martucci. And to everyone here in South Jersey watching, Hope you have a great and healthy Thanksgiving, and we'll chat with you soon. We have our high school football state championship this Sunday. Mike and I will be back to talk about that one.